Heidi Ho, everybody. Ho being operative word if you are a woman with chlamydia. Anyway, welcome to another edition of the Mr. Chris Archer 2004 show available on YouTube and on my blog, Mr. Chris Archer And I'll be telling you something interesting about my blog later on in uh, this edition. Quite a lot to uh, include today, so uh, let's start off with some uh, footage of when I visited Manchester last year, in particular the uh, ground of Manchester United Football Club, Old Trafford. Okay, once again, good afternoon and welcome to Manchester United. In a few minutes time we're going to be making our way around the stadium. Get about. The groundsman is over. I'm not normally one to give into peer pressure, but as you can see, I have revamped my blog, uh, Mr. Chris after running for the blogspot.com to make it similar to the layout that other people have on theirs. And as you can see here, uh, we've... Uh, oh, I lost the mouse for a second. Uh, right, so there, as you can see there. Uh, on the left-hand side, we've got this scroll-down menu where we can see my past uh, blogs. And here, uh, in the middle of the screen, we've got uh, my most recent content that appears on the main uh, opening page and what's good about this is that uh, to the right hand side you can subscribe uh, to uh, my uh, uh, blog and exploits and up here there's this whole menu there's classic flip card magazine mosaic sidebar snapshot and t uh, time slide I don't know if they come out too well for me what of course there's this search bar up here in the top right hand corner. If we go through the types of blog display you can, can customise it, so if we click classic, you then have it in the normal diary format that my blog has been in posted. and at the end of each post you can add it to uh, Google Plus, you can tweet it or you can add it to Facebook and you can add a comment. Flip 
card. Uh, well, here it's uh, you highlight each square, and it can say the name of the post and the date. It's a business largely pictorial, which is good, and uh, you can also uh, see what the labels are associated with each post. So that's going to help you to customize the search. There's this magazine option, but it looks like a, a, a kind of a tabloid where there's these sections where you can uh, click uh, as you wish. It looks quite impressive, actually. This next layout is looks a bit more messier. You can't see too clearly what's going on in it. Uh, I'll go the screen down a bit, as you can see. Uh, and uh, if I go back a page, right, so uh, that was mosaic we had just that sidebar, oh, that's the layout that I had it set up as, and snapshot here, it looks like an arrangement of postcards, I know that there's one person who has found the uh, additional page 2, which I originally was going to place on my blog, but which I thought I no longer had available, but it seems that uh, there is one area on this where you can get the additional page. I'll have to try and find it myself. I, uh, this time slot just looks impressive as well. It uh, largely dismisses the consecutive dates that you hover on your article and it kind of with a bit of a section that you then click on it and it shows you what the article says. So, yes, I don't see how. Uh, other people have been able to see the uh, second page I was going to stick on this blog because I can't see it myself. But hey, it's quite an impressive uh, uh, design that allows you to customize it uh, whichever way you like. So uh, do visit Mr. Crowdfunding4.blogspot.com and see what you think. And indeed, as you can see from this graph, the uh, Figures for my uh, viewing figures for my book have gone up since the uh, revamp, so that's uh, quite a good sign. Because obviously it's now easier for people to uh, see the individual pages that make up my blog. Now, my friend Harriet on the Twitter tweeted this picture and was wondering which train is this from here in the United Kingdom. I told you I think it's from a class 158 which travels on the Cambrian coastline. From Aberystwyth to Birmingham, uh, she said that uh, she travels on this from Cardiff, so uh, it seems that there's a case that they're moving the stock around. So uh, let's uh, educate you as to uh, the types of trains that are in service here in the United Kingdom. Well, there's there's this one, the Class 43, the Class 47, Class 66. Class 91. There's this one, the. Uh, I can't say anything now for me to read. The Class 142, that's a pacer. Here's the Class 150, a sprinter. Here is that Class 158 that I believe Harriet was riding on. Next, the Class 165, which is used in London, the class 172 used on the London overground system these days, the class 175, here's a Virgin Voyager, a class 221, the Eurostar, a class 373, this is not all the trains, this is just a cross section of them. Uh, here's one of my favourite trains, the Class 377. Here's one of its fastest trains, the Class 390, the Virgin Pendolino, available, uh, that operates on the West Coast Main Line. And finally, for the section here is the uh, the uh, Hitachi Javelin, the uh, Class 395, which travels on the High Speed One Link. Here's something funny that I saw on Facebook, it's a picture of David Cameron, I don't know why people think it's funny. And uh, I found on the Twitter that someone was uh, slagging off uh, one of my old autism bullies, or rather they're slagging off uh, a doppelganger 
of my autism bully and I just mentioned here that my autism bully is running away from the British justice they're currently hiding away in America and that brings on to uh, this next issue that uh, my old physics department is running a uh, project over the summer holiday for existing students to earn some cash where they're going to be encouraged to stalk the ex-students so just speaking you know, again they're being encouraged to look on Facebook and Twitter and find out where the ex-student is now. That previous student who I just showed you about, they graduated in 2007, having bullied me in university, and they kept me in Indianapolis, I can tell you. So that's say this person, this asshole. Interesting that so they're going to be paid for this rather tedious task. And while we're on the subject of uh, uh, how uh, uh, how to use social networking in fact, to uh, find out about people, I found out that one of the Cardiff University lecturers here uh, has uh, uh, called me a shithead uh, after criticising my blog. Well, that's not very nice, and indeed this lecturer was very ineffective when it came to dealing with the bullying that many students subjected me to during my time in university, so I'm not at all impressed by that. The university said they're taking disciplinary action against the staff member, but uh, at the moment they're dragging their feet as to what the disciplinary action is. Well, I don't think, uh, judging by my experiences in university, I don't think they'll qualify for uh, an Understanding Disability Award 2012. I picked up this leaflet earlier on. It says here that you can uh, nominate people who uh, deserve their cognition, and there's a variety of uh, things that they need to have been able that they need to have done to be within the uh, scope of qualifying. Uh, I don't think they qualify judging by uh, what I went through. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, one other topic. Uh, I noticed in the Queen's speech today that uh, uh, well, here in the UK, the uh, British government write the speech and the Queen reads it up, but it was mentioned that a defamation bill is going to be uh, one piece of legislation that the government will be trying to get through Parliament this upcoming year. Um, and they're going to adjust it to end this culture of uh, libel tourism, where you can go from one country to another and uh, try your luck in the courts uh, under their various jurisdictions to see if you can qualify for compensation if someone has said something that has uh, been bad for your character regardless if it's true or not. In fact, they're now going to tighten up the regulations so that uh, you will have to uh, show some very strong evidence that your reputation has been damaged by people's claims. And this considers uh, this great spate of uh, instances on the internet where people have uh, been saying things and been adding links and a variety of evidence so that they can make people think something and the public then agree with that person. That leads to the, uh, the person on the other end saying, hey, that's not true, I'm being defamed. That's it, uh, it, it leads to uh, the situation where people who do wrong end up saying, hey, I've done wrong, but you're defaming my name by saying I've done wrong, therefore I will sue you, because they're trying to uh, put a stop on that. And I think that is quite a good thing, because why should people be gagged from uh, revealing the truth about people who have engaged in misconduct? Uh, in the public office in particular. So uh, that's something that I'm going to be keeping an eye on. It's my dad's birthday this coming Friday and here in the UK the uh, greetings card shop Clintons went into administration today. I'm not surprised. They were in there earlier on to look for birthday cards for my dad and I found they've got a very limited range of cards for fathers and uh, those that they do have were rather expensive. My father's had a bit of a nervous breakdown recently, he's uh, just about recovering, but uh, one card that I saw in Clinton Cards had uh, It's your birthday, go nuts! I thought that was rather inappropriate, so I uh, went on to one of the Clinton's rivals to get the card for my dad in the end. Okay, uh, thanks for joining me for this uh, uh, blogging thesis it's been one of my longest blogs that I've done obviously now that YouTube can allow me to uh, record for longer than 10 minutes it means that we can add more and more content.
do be my friend on Twitter where I am Chris Alf W. Hang on, have I got the piece of paper handy? Hang on. Uh, yeah. Here we are. Be my friend on Twitter where I am Chris Alf W. And uh, I will follow you if you follow me. I'm only on Twitter, but the young people are on Twitter. I think it's a bit tedious myself. And of course, uh, do let me know what you think of my written blog, Mr. Chris Alf Dubrodenfort.blogspot.com by emailing me at mrchrisafterrodenfort at yahoo.co.uk Okay, I hope we'll be going for more videos over the next few days, weeks and months. I hope you liked my London 2012 Olympic t-shirt. I'm the only human I've seen wearing one of these t-shirts so far. The only other object that I've seen wearing this has been the shop dummy that's been displaying it. But until next time, it's bye for now. Bye bye.